In this project, we will show you a couple of awesome paper craft ideas used in gift wrapping design. Place a gift box onto wrapping paper. Wrap the gift. Fold the edge for a neat look. Add white glue to the box. Attach the one side. Glue the creased flap. Cover and stick. There is loose paper at the sides. Crease it at an angle. Fold the bottom to overlap the top part. Repeat for the other side. Glue the flaps. We've wrapped the gift. Let's decorate it. Draw a triangle on purple paper. Sketch a petal in each corner. The paper should be thick enough to keep shape. Join the petals with curled lines. The detail looks like fan blades or an airplane propeller. Cut it out. Trace the cutout as we need another of the same detail. Cut it out. Draw a smaller three petal element on lilac paper. Cut them out. Fold a petal to make it volumetric. Add the last yellow element. Now, assemble a flower. Add some glue with a brush to the center of the biggest detail. Attach the next element to overlap the gaps between the lower petals. Continue sticking the petal details in the same way. Be careful to reduce the size. The gorgeous 3D flower is ready to embellish the wrapping. Let's add green leaves. Draw two classic leaf-shaped details on green paper. Cut them out. Wrap the gift with a ribbon and tie a knot. Snip off the end at an angle. Add some glue to the bottom of the flower. Attach the leaves. Now, use multi-purpose glue. Attach the flower to the ribbon. The fabulous wrapping with a cute flower will perfectly complete any gift. Now, we'll show another interesting way of using paper craft ideas in a gift wrapping decoration. Draw leaves on pink paper. Make a number of details. Cut them out. Done! Repeat the details on gray paper. Gray matches pink well. Cut them out. Add elements of contrast color. Orange, for example. Cut it out. Perfect! Make the leaves volumetric by folding them in half across the length. Punch the leaves with a hole puncher. Thread the details on ribbons alternating by color. First take an orange ribbon then a lilac one. We have wrapped the gift with white paper. Let's add bright accents by winding it with the leaf ribbons. Tie a knot. Add a wish tag to the second ribbon. Wrap around. Cut off the excess. Here it is! Another gift wrapping is ready. The colorful leaves on the white background will make your gift stand out from other presents. 
Our today's video is about how to make a happy birthday gift box. Lay A4 cardstock horizontally and measure out two times per two inches from the left edge. Then four inches more. And again twice per two inches. Repeat for the opposite side. Join the marks. Lay the cardstock vertically and mark off 2, 4, and 2 inches on one of the lines in the low part. There's about a fourth of an inch up to the edge. Repeat for the upper part. Join the marks. Lay the cutting board. Cut off the excess fourth inch across the right edge. There are squares in the corners. Cut them out. You can use either scissors or a craft knife. Continue working with the corners. Make cuts towards the center across the line starting with the short side of the cardboard. Now score the rest of the lines to fold the box neatly and easily. Use a ruler and an empty ballpoint pen. Fold across the lines. Continue scoring. Crease the score lines again. Fold the box. If you fail to make the box the first time, it's not a problem. You just need to cut the sides a bit. Lay the cutting board. Measure out 1 tenth inches on top and bottom of the side wall. Cut out with the craft knife. See how it fits. It's alright now. It folds easily. Repeat for the other side. Add glue to the biggest flap. Fold the side walls and cover them with the flap. Attach with the clothespins. Make the same on the other side. Now make the lid. Follow the same steps. The only difference is to measure out one inch instead of two each time. All the other steps are the same. Mark off the letter borders on a paper strip. You can write down the wish. Cut out the lettering outline, leaving the underside, the base of the letter, uncut. Carefully pull out the letters and fold across the base. Decorate the lid with patterned paper. Add white glue and attach the paper piece. Now add the glue to the wish strip. Attach to the lid, putting the lettering in the center. Make the other 3D strip. 
Okay, the happy birthday box is ready to be presented to the recipient. The box design will be worth the gift. We'll make a Tiffany style jewelry gift box. Make a pattern. Draw a four inch diameter circle with a compass. Cut it out with scissors. Now, make a base. Place the circle on the robin egg blue cardboard and trace. Find the center. Mark the diameter endpoints on the opposite circle sides. Join the marks through the center. Use a ruler. Make another line dividing the circle into four equal parts. Place the pattern overlapping the drafted circle to touch the two closest marks. Trace it and find the center. Divide this circle into four parts in the same way. Place the pattern to touch the two closest points and trace. Make the same arc in each sector. Cut out the two circles together. The element resembles an eight. Take the base and a scoring tool, an empty ballpoint pen for example, and score the arcs. It will help crease flat and smooth the folds. Crease across the scored lines. Erase the pencil draft. Decorate the box with paper lace napkins. Cut out the proper lace piece. The box opens wide, so decorate it inside. Add a thin coat of glue onto the lace detail using a brush. Attach it to the base. You can put a ring or earrings into the box. You only need to add the well-known color ribbon. Encircle the box crisscrossing the ribbon at the center. Tie a bow. Done! The exquisite blue Tiffany style box can become a perfect wrap for jewelry to decorate your gift for a close friend. Let's make a funny little pig. Take pink paper. The wrap will be perfect for any kind of box. Start by wrapping the gift from the edge to the center. Crease the corners. Attach the paper to the box using white glue or tape. Continue wrapping. Attach the other paper side. Fold one side of the package at a time. Fold the corners to form triangles. Be careful to get a nice smooth crease. Attach the folded straight end to the top. Then, glue the corners. Repeat for the other side of the package. And now, the most interesting step. Make a pig snout and two triangles for ears. Trace the cutout on the thick black paper for the edging. 
Make the pink ears. Get everything together. We've made small cuts on the ears to get a 3D effect. Glue to fasten. Add the bright accent. Use a black marker to make nostrils. Attach the elements to the package. The only detail missing is pig eyes. The lovely little pig will help personalize your gift and make it even more special. Another wrap you should try will fit bigger gift boxes. It'll be a smart bear wearing a bow tie. Fold the craft paper around the gift like you did before. Take a round top and trace it twice. Make a cut to the center. Shape a cone to get a bear ear. Now, draw a snout. Take a thick paper oval as a base. Turn an ordinary package into an amusing little bear. Draw beady eyes. Complete the image with a red bow tie. This nice wrap is easy to make and kids will love it. Add a bird wrap to the menagerie. A dozy owl will keep safe your gift box inside. Wrap the box like you did, but leaving the flaps standing up to show owl ears. Draw two half moon details for closed eyes. Make a triangle for a beak. Let's decorate the bird. Make a party hat. Fasten it with the hot glue. Cut off the excess. Add a blue pom-pom. Dress the owl in the hat. This sleepy owl is so cute, one might not want to open the wrap to see the gift. The next animal we're going to create is a cat. Draw a cat face. The simpler, the better. Embellish the package with thin plaid ribbon tape. Take two white triangles for ears. Put a bright party hat on the cat. Hot glue a rope tail. You can paint it purple beforehand. The adorable little cat in a party hat looks like a funny toy with a surprise inside. As we've got a cat, there should be a mouse. Let's make an animal combination for different sized gifts. We've wrapped a small box. Now make a pink nose. Attach the triangle to a corner. Draw two big ears on the paper of the same color as the body. Outline two smaller ears on the pink paper. Join the details. Glue the edge and press over to form the ear. Attach the elements to the wrap. Draw small black eyes. Keep in mind whiskers. Ever the cat's partner, an awesome little mouse will complement your gift. And there's another owl in different hues. Fold a blue square diagonal. This is the way to make the owl ears more distinctive. Glue the ears. Punch two yellow circles. Prepare two bigger circles of the lighter tint. Draw the pupils. Attach the details to the package. Make vivid feathers in blue and crimson paper. Draw wave lines. Add a finishing touch to get another fabulous animal wrap. If you fold the ears and make the beak smaller, you can get a comic parrot. These creative animal wraps will perfectly personalize your gifts, making them exclusive and very special. We'll show how to make an origami box quickly and easily. We have printed out a pattern from the internet. The link is below. Let's cut it out. This pattern is very convenient, especially if you're going to make several boxes. You don't need to measure out each time, just trace and fold. Place the cutout on the cardboard. Trace with a pencil. Follow the inner lines by pricking the cross points with a needle. Remove the pattern. Join the pricks to trace the draft. Use the ruler and pencil. Cut it out. Make cuts for the clasp. Take an empty ballpoint pen and score the lines using the ruler.
fold across the score lines. Erase the pencil. Complete folding the construction. Let's decorate the box. Take a bead and twine. Thread the bead. Pass the second twine end through the bead from the other side. Put the loop onto the box clasp and pull up attaching with the bead. Tie several knots. Cut off the excess. Done! This is the way how to make a nice, useful box quickly and easily to put little things in. Use the pattern to make a number of invitation boxes for a party. Hit the like button. We'll be happy to see your comments and ideas. Be sure to subscribe to see new uploaded scrapbook tutorials. Choose the ideas you like and craft with us.